Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am super excited to continue this incredible 35 pound haul that I got from this amazing woman on Facebook um, that I kind of connected with and she sent me a thousand pieces which ended up being about 35 pounds that she um, basically uh, culled herself. I mean, she put it through, she made sure that they were all good. Um, and I've had very few pieces that have been broken or missing stones or anything. So I'm super excited to bring you this amazing haul. Uh, so um, I'm, this is going to be fun. This is, this is the third video now in this series. And I feel like we've hardly touch the surface. I'm only maybe, maybe halfway through this, uh, the 21 pound box. I don't even know if I'm halfway through yet. Uh, so this is great. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and give you my little uh, graphic that will show you how to purchase from me. Um, and you can uh, do it very easily. Go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and you can screenshot it if you would like. Um, the, the thing that will help me the most though is if you make sure that you give me the timestamp and the uh, price of the item that you are interested in purchasing. Um, that will make it so much easier and uh, you can either text me or email me. I do go by the time that uh, these uh, messages do come in. And if you can also make sure that you look at that pin post, uh, because I will try to update that as things come in, uh, as I go through the messages and all of that. If you make sure that you look at that pin post, make sure that the item that you're interested in has not already sold, uh, that would be great too. That does save everybody a lot of time. Um, and uh, I do appreciate it. Oh, there goes one of my dogs. <laughs> so um, I will go ahead and give you that graphic and I will get these dogs to calm down. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. Okay, so now that you've got that all ready and um, now you're ready to be able to order and all of that, I'm super excited to start bringing you these amazing pieces like this absolutely gorgeous necklace. Um, there is no uh, no marks on this, there, so I'm not sure who made this, but it is absolutely gorgeous and high quality. All of these beads are glass, and there is a nice long, very long um, extender on this. So. Um, anybody could wear this very easily. It is absolutely stunning. It is basically almost a runway piece. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, these beads are like an indigo color. They're not really black. I would say that these are like an indigo. They are stunning, absolutely stunning. And then you've got this round one here. It's got the bead cap, absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm going to say $20 on this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, 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 beautiful piece. Um, all right, let's see what we've got. We've got this little container that was in there of different items. So this is a cute necklace. It says Lada Design, which I'm not familiar with, but it's a great little chain necklace. Um, and it's got this little uh, ring here and then oh the pearl is damaged here but it is really pretty it's a pretty color a lot of design um, let's see what the measurement is on this one this is 16 inches and uh, it's a little damaged so as is we'll say uh, We'll say $3 on that because of the damage. Oh, let's see these bracelets. Ooh, this is my style here. I love this. This is a little Buddha bracelet. Um, I love anything like this, but I am very into yoga. 
and all of that kind of stuff. So this is amazing piece. This is a Buddha bracelet. It is made in Nepal. I love the dragon on the back. This is gorgeous. This looks very vintage too. It's like a hammered brass. It looks like maybe it's a little bent, but I don't think that matters. Um, I'm going to say $10 on this. This is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Look at the work on that. That's just very, very detailed and gorgeous. I love that. I absolutely love that. I'm just going to bring my chair in a little bit closer here. All right. Next. Oh, for any elephant lover here, this is another gorgeous piece. Silver tone. This is really pretty. It's a little bangle. You can open and close it, make it fit better. It's pretty loose. It's a little on the big side. Um, this is really pretty. I'm gonna say $5 on this elephant one. Let's see, I'm gonna set these back here. Um, move the neck off to the side. Um, here we've got just a silver tone bracelet. We'll say $3 on that one. What's this? Oh, interesting. This is almost like a charm bracelet. It's on a stretchy cord. Um, any marks on this? I don't see any marks on this one at all. Um, cute, very cute though. Definitely. Oh, that's super cute on. Wow, that's super cute on. Huh. We're gonna say, um, we'll say eight dollars on that one. That's super cute. Here is a little silver stretch, silver tone stretch. We'll say three on that one. Here is another one. This is pretty large. Um, could be maybe even an anklet if you have something kind of small, like a smaller foot or something. Um, perfect if you've got a larger wrist even. Um, we'll say two on that. Um, this is very pretty bangle. It's got kind of a black rhinestone and then the clear, like almost like a spacer. That's a cute bangle. Um, we're gonna say three on this one. Oh, this is interesting. So, no marks on this one either. So we've got like a snake skin, and then this is kind of like a chain, like it looks like almost like it's a chain wrap. And then a hammered, like this is hammered. Very cool piece. We'll say five on that one. This is also kind of like that leather wrap one. We'll say five on this one too. That's cool. Here's an enameled bracelet. Um, cool look on this one. I like that. And uh, we'll say we'll say five on that. And then this is another enamel kind of a bangle. And we'll say three on this one. stuffing in here. Get rid of that. It's like something my dog's tore up. Okay. This is pretty. This is stone. It stuck to my finger. Whew, come on. It won't. It won't come off my finger. Okay, there we go. This is cool. This is all stone. Let me see if this is anything. Let's get the presidium out. And some kind of quartz. Yeah, they're all kind of going into that quartz range. So this is pretty. Nice little quartz bracelet. Uh, we'll say eight on this one. It's pretty cool. This is interesting. I've had this 
style of bracelet before. This is like, it's hematite and then it has the Mother Mary all in on everything. And this, oh, this one's a magnetic one. Very cool. That's really awesome. Um, we're gonna say 10 on this. I've never seen one that's magnetic before. Wow. So I don't know if that's a magnetic type of hematite. I don't know. That's really beautiful. Look at the, oh, wow, that's gorgeous. That's really gorgeous. So we're gonna say 10 on that one. But this is pretty. It's like a gold, it's like a gold, it's almost like, I don't know if that's glass or a stone. That's really pretty. $3 on that one. Ooh, this is fun. It's like little lamp work beads. Ooh, made in Italy with Murano glass. Ooh, nice and beautiful rhinestones there. That is gorgeous. So if those are Murano beads, those are very nice. So, um, so you know that those aren't, you know, Chinese beads, that's amazing. And yeah, I can tell that those are better made because you can tell by the, the where the beads, the holes of the bead. Because I used to make beads back in the day. Those are beautiful. Um, so we're going to say, because this is true Murano glass, this is going to be a $15 bracelet. That is gorgeous. And it's got the tag too. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh, we got a chain. Just a plain chain, gold chain. I'll see if I see any marks on this. Be nice if it did. I don't know if we can get that lucky, but you never know. Never, never know. I'm looking at the clasp right now. But usually that's where you're going to see it. But no, 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 no. Um, if anybody needs, well, there's a knot in it, but you could get the knot out. Um, if anybody needs a chain, gold tone chain um this is approximately i mean you'd have to get the knot out but as is it's measures about well, probably with the knot out and all that probably be close to 18 inches um a um, dollar on the chain um ooh, this is kind of wild with the pearl and those beads. Weird. And, oh, the clasp was missing, so that'll go in craft. And, oh, this one, very similar to the other one. And this has a tag. And the tag says, cat something. Cat, and then I don't know if anybody can read that. Oh, I can, I always forget I can make it. I don't know, I can't make that out. Um, but $3 for that. I don't know what this is. Hmm. This is almost like another little chatelaine. Um, Two dollars for that. This is one of those wrap bracelets, but it's missing a, a stone or something. Or no, no, it's just, no, it's not. It's just twisted. Uh, Three dollars for that. We got, oh, that's a pretty earring. Let's see if we got a match. Ooh. This is cool. This is Scott 
something. Scout. Scout. Curated wares. Oh, I like this. Look at that. It's got those cool little rhinestones on there. That is really cool. And it says fearless. And I like Scout because Scout was the name of one of my dogs. I don't know if any of you guys watched any of my early videos, but he, and he's in a lot of my thumbnails, but he's the one that passed back in, um, end of April, I think it was. He was cool. He was 14 when he passed. He was just the coolest dog. I had rescued him when he was probably about three and he was going to be euthanized because he was a bite risk and we worked on him and he ended up being one of the best dogs I ever had. Huh? This is a cool little bracelet. I like it. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say $5 on this one. Um, and if nobody wants it, I'm keeping it because that's cool. Uh, this is kind of a wild little thing and you can pull it to make it tighter. That's kind of cool. We'll say three on that one. Um, this is, oh, this is very vintage, this little piece here. I'm gonna get the silver necklace off of it. Let's see here, gotta untangle. We've got a bunch of tangled stuff today. Ooh, that's never fun. Let's see. <laughs> tangle, tangle, tangle. Well, if anybody, if you guys like my content, if you guys like the things that I have and you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe. I'd love it if you did. I'd love it if you would uh, hit the notification bell uh, because I do go live twice a week. Um, I have a live on Saturdays that is clearance and it's auction style and everything is a $2 start and we have a blast on Saturdays. And then I do have a regular live um, that is an auction also on Thursdays. That's all vintage jewelry as well. And both of them are a lot of fun. This is very pretty. This is kind of like a lanyard or like a bolo tie almost. This is cool, look at that. So it's a long necklace. There is no, it's interesting. There's, you just pop it over your head and then you can tighten it up. Interesting. It's got the little things on the bottom. There's no marks on it. This is silk, is that silver or gold? I think it's silver. I think this is two-tone. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Or it's a really light gold. Flower is definitely gold. Interesting. Let's say $5 on this. That's kind of a cool necklace. But it's also kind of different because I can't really tell if it's silver or gold. Um, this is a pretty little piece. Um, I don't think this is silver. Let me just double check the clasp. No, it's not marked 925 or anything, um, but it's a pretty little crystal pendant on this necklace. I'm gonna say $3 on this, it's kinda cool. Um, we got a single earring, we'll see if we can find its mate somewhere, hopefully. Ooh, this is pretty. This is in a Pura Vita bag, but this does not look like a Pura Vita piece, so. Um, but this is a really pretty little stretch bracelet. Kinda reminds me of a J. Crew. I don't know if the J. Crew had anything like this though. This is really pretty. Um, this is definitely one of those just wear your rhinestones. I like that. Um, these are not glass though. A lot of these are not glass. I don't know if all of them are gla not glass, but the red is definitely a resin or a plastic. Um, but still, it's gorgeous. I'm going to say $5 on that one. It's really pretty, but it, like I said, it's it's not glass, but who's going to know from far away? 
Um, but we'll just say five on that one. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's put another box. Ooh, got some fun stuff in here. What is this? I know what this is. Whiting and Davis makes these or made these back. And this is an Art Deco piece. So this is like mm, 19. Actually, this is probably earlier than Art Deco. This is probably like 1920s. But this is not in great condition. Um, Whiting and Davis made this. And it, this is definitely a Whiting and Davis piece. But it's missing the interior. So this actually opens like this. Um, and it's supposed to be lined. This is not lined. It's also supposed to have a little chain as a handle and it's missing that, which is too bad. Um, if it was in good condition, this would be worth probably about 100 to $125. Um, in this condition, I mean, it may be like 30. I don't know. Not really sure. Um, you know, I'm not really sure. I, I mean, if anybody is interested in this for 30, cool. Um, otherwise, I'll do maybe a little race. Oh, it's stained too. If anybody's interested in this for 20, as is, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna maybe work on maybe rehabbing it or something, but this is definitely worth worth it to do something with. Um, but if you're a Whiting and Davis collector or something, that's definitely a good piece. That's a really cool piece. Um, here we have a, I mean, that's like, this is old, old, old. Um, here we have a little rhinestone spiral bracelet that's kind of cool I've never seen one like rhinestones that are prong set like that that's cool um I'm gonna say eight dollars on that one <laughs> got some tangles going on here what is this what is this I don't know what we got going on here uh, I don't even know if I want to tap them. In. Well, maybe. Oh, what's this? Ooh, we got a tack pin. A little angel tack pin. We all know I like angels. It is marked China. It's also marked. So it's marked 925, but this is not 925. I know this is not 925. Um, I mean, I can just feel it. It's not 925. I'm going to say $3 on this. That's gorgeous. I mean, it's adorable, but this is not 925. It's a little magnet, though. It's a magnet tech pin. It's kind of cool. Ooh. This is wild. This is uh, this is a choker. <laughs> this little tack pin wants to stick to everything. So this is a choker. So ooh, kind of got bright there for a second. Um, make it a little bit less choker-ish. Got a nice long extension on it. There we go. So that is, I don't know why it's so bright all of a sudden. So that is really cool. So you can make it whatever length you want, but it's got these leaves and all of the, it's in brass. And then all of these leaves, is it marked? No. And then all of these leaves have a rhinestone in the center. This is really, really, really pretty. Um, and I'm going to say uh, 12 for this one. This is gorgeous. Very like Y2K-ish though. <laughs> kind of wild. Um, what is this? This is another weird one. What is this? 
What is this? Is that a, looks like it's a necklace. I see a, I see a, oh, here we go. Okay, so it's a long necklace. So we've got, this is your pendant on here and it's a long necklace. Okay, so $5 on that one. Whew. Ooh, this is cool. Almost looks like a Brighton, but it's got these really cool crosses and the hearts. So we'll say $5 on that one, that's cool. And here's another spiral. This one has butterflies. We'll say three on that one. Here is a, a toggle bracelet. This looks like it's kind of large. Let's see here. I don't even know if I can get the toggle out. Oh, it's on stretchy too. Weird. Weird. There we go. Let's see how long it is. This is an odd one because it's on stretchy, like a stretchy cord, and then it's it's like eight and a half inches, um, and then it's on a stretchy cord. So like, you don't even have to undo the toggle if you don't want to. We'll say five on that. Um, ooh, this is cool. It's on stretchy cord as well. Look at that design. That's a really sweet design. Look at that. That's really cool. Um, we'll say five for that one. That's really pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, get on with our patriotic selves. That is pretty fun. That took some major work to do that bead weaving. And then that's on stretchy. That's pretty sweet, to be honest. And uh, I'm gonna say $5 for that. That's actually kind of cool. It's not easy to do. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I'm actually not going to put this one for sale because um, I'm keeping this. Cause I'm, I don't know if you guys know my absolute love for wine. Um, if anybody ever wants to ever give me a gift, uh, wine related, uh, is always good. Wine related, dog related, or um, bourbon related. Like those are my three favorite things in the world. I mean, I, not that I like love drinking. I actually, I do. But I mean, I love to have a cocktail once in a while or coffee. Coffee related is the other one. Um, my Nespresso machine is my best friend. So yeah, wine, coffee, dogs, and then probably bourbon are my favorite things in the world. <laughs> Sad to say, but I'm keeping that. Sorry, guys. Oh, what is this? Another charm bracelet. What are these things on here? I can't tell. Oh, birds. These are birds. And a milkmaid. And swans. And... A guy dancing? I don't know. I mean, I can't tell what the theme is. I don't know. If anybody knows what the theme is on this, let me know. It has a little toggle. This also seems kind of large. Um, there is some wear on the toggle here. Um, This is, actually it's not that large. It's, well, it's seven and a half inches. So that's not too bad. That's super cute. Uh, we'll say $5 on that. Oh, we got some little earrings. These are clips uh, with the little spiral, or not spiral, but the little like drop circles that come down. Kind of cute. Those are kind of fun. And uh, let's 
let's see. We'll say, um, we'll say $3 on those. And then this is a little stretchy rhinestone bracelet. This is definitely a plastic bead. So I'm gonna say $2 on that. All right, let's move on to the next. We got a necklace. This is a multi-strand necklace in white. And some of the strands are a little on the loose side. Let me see here. But they are very pretty. And is it marked at all? It is marked Japan. Let me see here. All right. So. The neck out. Oh. I can make this work. There we go. All right, so kind of got it twisted, but this is super cute. Multi-strand, these are, these are a plastic bead, but that's a really cool color. It's like an ivory color and it's five strands. I love this, this is gorgeous. Um, let me grab, the only thing is, is that it does have one long or one strand that has the string that is showing. It just means that it's stretched out. Um, does that make a difference? Eh, you know, it, it means that the beads are heavy and the string is just, you know, getting, you know, it's the cotton, it's a, probably a cotton string and um, it can get worn long and you know like you know it just stretches it's kind of like you know clothing um does it can it break it, i mean it can break if you pull on it absolutely it if you tug at, at it then yes it'll break but it's probably still good um but i'm gonna say i'll just say ten dollars on this um I mean, if it comes down to it, you could always just use it for the beads and the beads are definitely worth that. But, um, I mean, I still think that you, this necklace has a lot of wear. You could definitely still wear it for a good long time before you worry about those that string at all. So we'll say $10 for that. That's a substantial necklace. It's beautiful. All right, what do we have next? Oh, we got another really pretty. This is pearls and also a multi-strand and it does have one rhinestone missing in the clasp but I never really worry about that because you know nobody's gonna see that and I think it's marked Japan also yep marked Japan and um, so, oh, on that other necklace, it's 13 inches at the shortest length, and then it had a pretty substantial um, extender. And this one, if I can get it to, sometimes it's hard to get these to lay right. Now, let me get a measurement on this pearl one. These are really nice pearls. So these are glass pearls. Um, these are glass pearls. And we're looking at, at the shortest length, again, we're looking at about 13 and a half inches. And, um, yeah, about 13 and a half. And probably this one's not as long of an extension, but probably um, can go to about 15 inches. So you do have maybe a little bit less. Um, so that's really pretty. Look how big those pearls are. It's pretty substantial. 
no um and these are all knotted so very good quality like really good quality um all glass pearls pretty heavy duty so i'm gonna say 18 on this one this is really really good quality it does have that little one stone missing but i mean i'm not worried about that one nobody should be worried about that um so we'll say 18 on this this is incredible quality for a necklace for a vintage necklace all right, what do we have it in this package? I feel like they're unwrapping gifts. Ooh, ooh, a stick pins. Stick pins. We got brooches, cameos. What do we got? What do we got going on? we got these are fun a little teddy bear tack pin two dollars oh a little deer brooch unsigned we'll say three a little heart made in taiwan two Oh, I like this little masquerade. That's cute. We'll say $3 on that one. Um, here's a little heart. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a ceramic heart that looks hand-painted. Actually, yeah, hand-painted. can see the brush strokes. Um, yeah, it's a tack pin. And something engravers, ink, 1981. Um, so we're going to say $5 on that one. That is really stunning and it's hand painted. Um, this is very pretty. So these tack or these stick pins can often be like very valuable. Um, sometimes they're marked. This one is not. So we'll say $3 on that one. Um, here is an, <laughs> the letter E. And let's see if this one's marked at all. Uh, I do not see a marking on this one. The letter E. Two dollars on the letter E. <laughs> we have an arrow. Where is that pointing? Very interesting. I do not see any marks on this. So we'll say two dollars on the arrow. <laughs> That's kind of cute little bar pin unmarked we'll say three on that one <laughs> the letter l i should keep that one let me see it's marked oh it's a sarah coventry little letter l i'll say five on the sarah coventry l because it's a sarah coventry um that's cool uh is this not like star trek I don't know. Maybe Star Trek. We'll say $3 on that. Ooh, very Art Deco piece here. Super cool. Uh, we'll say five on that one. That's super cool. Here's a little cameo. This is done in like a plastic or a resin. She's super cool. This is pretty old too. Look at that pin back. Um, we'll say three on her. I, I have no idea what this means. Maker. We'll tick tack pin two. Oh, we got some scissors and a pin. Uh, that works. Interesting. It is signed. Oh, this is a JJ. Ooh, highly collectible JJ. People like go crazy about JJ's anymore. That's super cool. I'm gonna say eight dollars on those scissors. Those are awesome. We've got the little American flag all done in rhinestones. Ooh, it is missing two stones. Um, I was. Uh, do I put it in craft? If anybody likes it, two dollars. 
Um, and this is interesting. This looks like a 1928. It is a 1928. Um, we'll say $5 on the 1928. Um, this is engraved SCM. So very, very particular. Oh, and it's a Sarah Coventry. Look at that Sarah Coventry signature. I'm not familiar with that as much. SCM. If you are an SCM, you can have this one for a dollar. This is a little heart tack pin. That's actually quite cute. Um, we'll say uh, $3 on that. This is a little just round. I'm not sure. And we'll say a dollar on that one. And a heart. We'll say two. Oh my God, this is adorable. I have so many golf brooches and pins and stuff. This is so cute. We'll say $3 on this with the little pearl. Oh, it pearl's a little marred. We'll say $2 on this. $2 on the, on the golf club. And if you like any other golfing things, please let me know because uh, I have more. So just message me if you like this and you want this and you want to see more golf brooches, just let me know. I can show you. Um, we have more. The heart stick pin, we'll say two. This stick pin, I don't see any marks, no. We'll say two. Um, and then we have, oh my gosh, look at how adorable this little cherub is. <gasps> so cute. Oh, this one's marked. This one is marked AJC, and I know that one, and I can't remember it. Um, so we're going to say $5 on this one, the AJC one. This is cool. This is cool. I like him. I li I've seen these. These are vintage. This is a little shell hat. These are very cool. I'm going to say $5 on him. So cool. All right. Let's keep going. Ooh, I got the other earring for this. Ooh, got a hair in there. All right, got the other earring. So we got these rose gold little drops. These are cool. Love this. So uh, we'll say um, we'll say eight dollars on those. Those are really cool. I like those. Ooh, I got a box. Ooh, and the box has rings. Let's get the ring sizer out. What do we got? Um, okay, so we have this little ring here. It does have, it says CTI and an eight. So I bet you it's a size eight. Yep, size eight. We'll say um, $5 on that ring. Ooh, this is a fancy ring. Oh, it's got the little stretchy thing on the back. That's kind of cool. We'll say $5 on that ring. This is not sized, or not a um, adjustable. This is kind of pretty. That's a size seven. And it's got the three stones. It looks like diamonds almost. Um, let's see, it's got marks on the inside. This says something electroplate. Um, 18 karat gold electroplate. We're going to say $5 on that. This is tiny. It's like a kid's ring. Oh, it's a spinner ring, too. Uh, it's like a size four and a half little spinner ring. Super cute. We'll say three on that one. That's fun. Um, silver tone. Does not feel like it's sterling. Size eight. Looks like it's got a little faux turquoise, like crystal looking thing. Um, we'll say five on that one. This says love. How adorable. No marks on the inside. And it is a size six and a half. 
And we'll say three on the love. Did I measure this one? Eight. Eight on that, just in case I missed it. Oh, jeez. This is a stretchy one. Cute. Um, it's got, it's on elastic. If anybody likes that, $2. Ooh, that's pretty. That looks like it's like a moonstone or something. Um, any marks on the inside of this? No marks. So it's got like this little opaline kind of glass or moonstone looking glass. Um, cabochon in the center. It's tiny. Uh, it's a size five. I guess that's some people are a size five. Really pretty. We'll say five dollars on that one. Oh. Ooh, I love this. It's a lizard. <laughs> Look at that. So cool. These are this is the kind of thing I like. Oh my gosh. I love this. <gasps> love it. It's a size eight. It's done in like a brass. And he's got all these cool stones, the green stones. Oh my God, I love him so much. This is so cool. And he's got like white uh, rhinestones for the eyes. He's got little hands. He's very, very detailed. Let me see if he's got marked at all. This is so cool. There's no writing, nothing on the inside. Dang, that is so sweet. He is so darn cool. Let me see. Does he fit on this finger? <gasps> yes. Oh, I love him. I love him. I think I'm going to keep him for a minute. Sorry, guys. I'm keeping him for a moment. Sorry. So, eventually I'll probably sell him. So, you can always message me and be like, I get first dibs when you want to get rid of him. <laughs> um... This is a size five. This is not marked at all on the inside. Super cute little emerald stone. Oh, is one missing? No. No, I thought one was missing, but no. Um, we'll say $5 on that one. And then here we have a funky, like, very, like, 1960s looking ring. Men, it's probably like a men's ring. It's a size nine. Very cool gold band. Very cool gold band. We'll say five on that one too. Love those. Those are fun. Fun, fun, fun rings there. Oh, we got a big old funky necklace here. Let's see. This is another big, huge statement piece. Let's see, put it on the neck. This one though is not, no extension on this. So let's see what size of it is. Um, this is about 17 inches on the, like from the chain. It's kind of wild. Ooh. Look at that. It's kind of wild. So double chain and then these big, huge, and these are all glass. Wow. One is missing right back there. Can't hardly see it though. It's kind of covered up by this one. Um. Wow, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna say uh, $20 on this. It is missing that one stone, but, um, well, because it's missing that one stone. We'll say, we'll say 18, but you're not, you don't see that stone missing at all. Um, so yeah, we'll say 18 on this one. This is like super amazing. Look at that, that's crazy but it does not have an extension. It is measures about 17 inches. You could easily put an extension on it. I wonder if this is J. Crew and it just like lost the tag. It feels like it is. It's super heavy. Look at the back of it, super heavy duty. It's 
gorgeous. So 18 on this white one. Gorgeous. 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 All right. What is next? Oh, we got another one. Another necklace. Uh, this one is marked and it is J. Crew. And it's a little bit more dainty. Now, I don't know if everybody realizes this, but J. Crew. Um, is made or was made at least vintage J crew was made by signer so look at that that one's really pretty I've got these beautiful blue and hot pink stones really really pretty oh oh no it's missing a stone there what crapola that's sad well if anybody likes this, $10 on this J. Crew. $10 as is. Crap. And I was just kind of bragging about how this lady like was had like gone through all these. But you know, some of these are it's easy to miss some of these. I miss stones sometimes. So, oh well. But $10 if you like it. As is. Oh, what do we got next? Oh, we got the box. We got a box of stuff. And then we got a couple other necklaces. Let's look in the box first. Ooh. This box has some fancy stuff. So it looks like we got a necklace. I'm tempted to just sell this as is, like this whole box. So you get, yeah, why don't we just do that? So you get a pearl necklace. And let's see what the presidium. And let's see what this says. These are just glass. Well, yeah. Well, no, actually, it goes above glass. These are garnets. Those are garnets. Okay, so then these are So these are garnet. Those might be some kind of opal or moonstone because it's, I can't really get anything to register, but they definitely look like there's something. Um, I check for marks. And then this is also registering in the garnet tourmaline iolite area for that one. So let me just check. Where's my thing? Here we go. I don't see any marks for it being gold or anything, so I don't know. Um, we'll just say the whole box, the three pairs of earrings and this little pearl necklace. Um, Oh no, it's, I don't know if that's a necklace. Is this a necklace? It's a bracelet. It's actually a bracelet. It's a double strand bracelet. Um, so three pairs of earrings and this little double strand bracelet. We'll say um, in, the gar in their garnets. We'll say $20 for this whole thing. 20 for the whole thing. And we'll do a few more. I don't want to make this video too much over in an hour, but I feel like I hardly get to prove this. We got 
a long Sarah Coventry long gold rope chain and then it's got the extension and let's see how long this is these are fun I love these I actually have a few of these that I have personally um, that I've kind of accumulated and I just use them to layer I love layering necklaces like in the fall and winter and stuff. This is uh, 30 inches long at its shortest length and you can of course extend it. And um, I'm gonna say $8 for this. This, it, the, they're great, they're so versatile. They're so fun, they're so versatile. Um, they're great. Ooh, this is an amazing pendant. I can't believe it's unsigned. It gives me very like YSL or Christian Lacroix vibes, doesn't it? Um, it's it's Gripois. Um, can't believe this is not signed, huh? Um, it's very heavy and good quality. Uh, I'm gonna say ten dollars on this. This is really really nice. And it is unsigned, but it is, it may have been part of a bigger piece that was signed. I'm wondering. Um, I'm going to say 10 on this because I think this is something. And I'm wondering if I should maybe Google image it. Um, but that is gorgeous. So we'll say $10 on that. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what um house pins by lucinda um people collect these i don't know if i've got any people that watch me that collect these these are awesome these are great um i've had these i've sold quite a few in the past these are awesome um i'm gonna say uh ten dollars this is a cool one i love the colors in this house pins by lucinda i'm gonna say ten dollars on the house pins by lucinda either one of them Else we got. Oh, this is a fun little Art Deco looking piece. Probably very uh, 80s does Art Deco. It's super cool. I'm gonna say $5 on that one. And what else? Oh, we're getting, we're getting close. We're almost, ooh, we're almost towards the end. Oh my God, look at this. <gasps> love this oh it's got a couple cracks though oh but even with the cracks it's amazing oh my god look at that purple oh it's just these are the cracks right in here i don't know if some of them are supposed to be there or not but it almost looks cool with the cracks um i'm gonna say uh eight dollars on this um I've sold these Lucite bracelets for like 30 and 40 um, that are very similar to this with this like asymmetrical look and they're like the layers of colors and all that. But I really don't know if these cracks are supposed to be there or not. And uh, so we're just going to say uh, $8 on this because I don't know. Some of these are like made by artists back in like the 60s in the 70s and um when they are they're like really valuable but i know i and they're like rarely signed and i know i don't know how to identify them but this is gorgeous wow but i just i don't think those cracks are supposed to be there but it doesn't do any i mean it doesn't it doesn't affect the it doesn't affect it you know at all um, this is kind of cool. I don't know if this is anything. Anybody recognize this? If you recognize this, if this is a logo or something, let me know. Or maybe it's just like a G. 
Looks like a G to me. We'll say $3 on that. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's got a little dog. It's a little dog house. So stinking cute. Oh, it could also be a pendant. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Little bone. Oh my God, I love this. We'll say $5 on that. So cute. Dang. Look at this necklace. Oh my God, this is so adorable too. Is this marked? I can't believe this isn't marked. Wow. This is vintage. You can tell it's vintage. It's got a fold over clasp. I love the brush gold. Wow. It's all little bows. How flipping cute is this? Let's get a measurement. It is 15 and a half inches. Wow, that's so cute. Let me see if I can put it on the neck. Oh my gosh, look at that. So cute. Um, I'm gonna say um, $12 on this. This is so adorable, I love that. And that's very vintage too, that's probably 1960s, I would bet, 1960s. Um, oh, we got another cool pendant that's like a quartz piece and it's wrapped in the gold tone. That's really cool. I don't know what that is, why it's kind of got those circles. There's or scratches or what that is. Um, I'm going to say $5 on that because I don't know what that is. I'll say $5 on that. You can always wear it this side. It doesn't, that's got one little thing there, but I don't, that's cool. $5. Five dollars. I don't want this to end. What else we got? So many bracelets in here. I'm gonna do something different other than a bracelet. What's this? Oh my gosh. This is a brooch, a teddy bear brooch. Looks like he's in like a sleeping bag or something. We'll say two dollars on him. Oh I forgot I had these over here. This is a bangle with rhinestones. We'll say three on this one. And then we'll do this one. This will be like last but not least. And this is pretty long, um, good statement piece with the little discs. And these are two tone, so uh, gold and silver, nice long necklace. And uh, we'll say $10 on this one, this one's super cute. All right, my peeps, this was fun, this was good. And I still have a fair amount in this 21 pound box that we need to go through. Holy moly's. So, um, this will be, uh, that'll be probably tomorrow's video. We might be able to get through the rest of the 21 pounds tomorrow. And then we'll have to work on the 14 pound box uh, after that. So I'm gonna work on trying to get out a video every single day until we get through all 35 pounds. And uh, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, definitely let me know if you are interested in any of these pieces and uh, we can make sure that you are taken care of, okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all of your love and support. You guys are wonderful and I appreciate you all. Um, thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.